Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of LCM and how to find the LCM of given number. LCM stands for least common multiple. Okay. And the definition of LCM is the least non-zero number in common multiples of two or more number. For example, multiples of 6 or 6, 12, 18, 24, 30 and so on and multiples of 8 or 8, 16, 24, 32, 14 and so on. So now the common multiples of 6 and 8 are Six comma eight are what is twenty four? Okay, and after we get forty eight and so on. So according to the definition of LCM, LCM is the least non-zero number in common multiples of two or more numbers. So the least common multiple of is least common multiple of six comma eight is twenty four. So that's why the twenty four is the LCM of six and eight. I hope you understand this. So there are two methods are there to find the LCM of given number. So first one is factorization method and second one is the division method. Now we will see factorization method. So let's find the LCM of 12, 27, 40. Okay. So now find the factors of 12. Factors of 2L is equal to 2 into 6 equal to 2 into 2 into 3 is equal to 2 square into 3. Okay. These are the factors of 2L. Now the factors of 27. So 3 into 9, 3 into 3 into 3. And that is 3 to the power of 3. Okay. Now the factors of 40. So 2 into 20. 2 into 2 into 10. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 5. Equal to 2 cube into 5. So now. The fact all the factors of all the numbers are 2, 3 and 5. Okay. So the factors of 12, 27, 40 contains 2, 3 and 5. Here 2, 3, 3, so 2 and 5. So the different factors of 12, 27 and 40 are all together are 2, 3, 5. Okay, then the LCM is the LCM is we have to take the highest powers of all these numbers from these factors. Okay, so what is the highest power of 2? That is 2 square is there and 2 cube is there. So, highest power of 2 is 2 cube. 
into and the highest power of 3 is what? 3 to the power of 1 is there. 3 cube is there. So I am taking 3 cube. It is the highest power of. And what is the highest power of 5? Only 1 phi is there. Then 5 to the power of 1 is equal to. So 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 cube is 27 into 5. Okay. So the multiplication is going to be 1080. So the LCM of 12, 27 and 40 is 1080. So this one is the factor using the factorization method. So in factorization method, what we do? We find the factors of all the given numbers and from where we, we list all the distinguished factors. Okay, distinguished factors of the given numbers and then we take the highest powers of those numbers okay and then we multiply them so whatever result we are getting that is the lcm of the given numbers so now let's see the division method let's find the lcm of 12 27 and 40 okay so simply put 12 27 and 40 there so the we we have to divide these numbers by using a factor so that factor i'm taking as a two number okay so when we divide 2 12 by 2 we get the result 6 so 27 is not divided by 2 so we take 27 as it is because it is divisible but 2 is not a factor that's why I am taking 27 as t and 2 into when we divide 40 by 2 we will get 20 okay that is it. and next again 6 and 20 these are also divided by 2 that's why again I am taking 2 so 2 here we get 3 when we divide 6 by 2 we get 3 and I am taking 27 as t and then when we divide 20 using 2 we get value 10. So now 3, 27 is there. These two are divisible by 3. Now I am taking 3. So 3, when we divide 3 with 3, we get 1. And here we get 9. And we take 10 as t. Now we have to multiply these numbers. 2, 2, 3, 1, 9 and 10. Okay. So that is the LCM of the 12, 27 and 40. So the LCM of 12, 24, 27 and 40 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 1 into 9 into 10. Okay. So again that is going to be 1080. So the LCM of 12, 27 and 40 using division method is also 1080. So first I explain that LCM. LCM is the least non-zero number of common multiples of two or more numbers. So there are two methods are there. One is factorization method and another one is the division method. And with both the methods we have seen in this video. So thank you for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel.